This discussion uses information from Simmons et al. 2020. There are multiple integration models uh, that focus on integrating a Christian worldview into the counseling profession. Um, Simmons et al. 2020 focuses on the model that David and Twistle developed called the model of disciplinary relationship. Um, and so I will focus on that model for my discussion. To briefly summarize this model, um, it has three main category models. The first one is the antagonistic model that views religion slash Christianity in opposition to psychology and that religion and psychology are enemies. Um, the intermediate model describes four different situations in which a counselor views or integrates Christianity into their counseling profession. Um, and then that allied model views all truth as God's truth um, and that psychology and theology can contribute to this ultimate um, truth. In regards to the model of disciplinary relationship, my views align well with the allied model. Um, I hold a Christian faith, and so I believe that all truth um, is God's truth, um, and that all truth comes from Scripture, um, and that from that truth, that is how I view the world and the people in it. Um, but that psychology um, can be used for God's truth um, and can be used to by God to glorify Him. One challenge that I see with this model of integration is the extreme view, specifically in the antagonistic model, that religion and psychology are enemies um, because it creates this distrust between the relationship of them, um, which then inhibits a positive relationship between them, between religion and psychology, where the focus could be placed on how they relate to one another and how they positively integrate instead of there being distrust between them. I believe one of the biggest and most effective ways to integrate a Christian and biblical worldview into your role as a counselor is by imitating the characteristics of Christ. Um, as a believer who is an aspiring counselor, I believe the best way to exude Christ with your clients is by reading the Gospels and learning about how Jesus interacted with other, others and modeling the way that he lived your life, his life with your clients. Another way to integrate a Christian worldview into professional counseling is by using an effective ethical decision-making model when faced with an ethical decision that needs to be made. There are six principles that make up an ethical decision-making model, um, and they include autonomy, um, non-maleficence, justice, fidelity, and veracity. And so when you're looking at these principles through a Christian lens, each of them align with scripture, um, and they are actually seen throughout the way that Jesus did ministry and made his decisions. Um, and so using these six principles when making ethical decisions is a great way to integrate your faith with your counseling profession while also abiding by the ACA's Code of Ethics. In summary of section A4B of the ACA Code of Ethics, it states that counselors are to respect the diversity of their clients, especially when the counselor's values don't align with the goals of their clients. Um, and so this specific section relates heavily um, to me as someone who holds Christian values and a Christian faith um, and is an aspiring counselor. And so I think that this section of the ACA Code of Ethics is important to keep in mind as I pursue my counseling career and will probably end up counseling clients who don't hold the same beliefs as me. And so value bracketing um, is a strategy that I plan on engaging in once I'm a counselor to, to avoid imposing my view uh, on my clients. And so value bracketing involves not stating your beliefs to your clients to avoid influencing them in any way. Uh, and so I believe that I'm capable of value of bracketing my values in a counseling relationship while also still upholding my beliefs and letting them play a part in my relation in my counseling strategies in an indirect way as stated earlier in this discussion. And information on value bracketing was from McHorder 2019.